When some loud bragger tries to put me down and says this school is great, I tell him right away, now what's the matter, buddy? Ain't you heard of my school? It's number one in the state. Welcome back to DeForest Area High School. For the 2012-13 school year, you will notice some changes to the building and practices within it. Ten new teachers will join the DAHS staff this year. In addition, the stadium project will be completed for the fall sports season. One of the biggest changes will be the introduction of PBIS. PBIS stands for Positive Behavior Interventions and Supports. It is a system to teach and reinforce behaviors that we want our students to display at school. Students and staff share clear and consistent expectations about how students should act in different locations throughout the building, including the hallways, cafeteria, gymnasiums, and restrooms. PBIS has three tiers, but our only focus for this year is on Tier 1. In Tier 1, we will teach our behavior expectations to all students and acknowledge students who act accordingly. PBIS will also reteach and reinforce appropriate behavior to students who act improperly. Every school in DeForest is introducing PBIS for this school year. We want all students to show that Norskis are safe, respectful, and responsible. DAHS's PBIS team of 20 staff members created our Behavior Expectations Matrix. It explains how students should act safely, respectfully, and responsibly in specific areas throughout the building. Just as we do in your academic courses when we teach you what you need to know, we will begin teaching behavior in a similar way. Every teacher at DAHS will have this behavior expectations matrix posted in their classroom and may refer to it when addressing both positive and negative student behavior. Our emphasis for the start of the school year will be on improving the behavior and language in the hallways as well as getting students to class on time. Expectations for the hallways and tardiness will be visible throughout the building. Several of the early advisory lessons will teach you these expectations and have you practice them. Staff members may address you in the hallways for inappropriate behavior and redirect, review, and reteach your expectations to you. They may also acknowledge you for simply doing the right thing. Office discipline referrals will look slightly different than in the past. Minor referrals will include tardiness, classroom disruptions, horseplay, lying, PDA, foul language, and dress code violations, to name a few. These will be handled by teachers and could result in a minor referral if students fail to correct their behavior. If a student receives three minor referrals for the same offense, it becomes a major referral for one of the principals to address with the student and their parents. Major offenses include behaviors such as defiance, bullying, fighting, and drug or weapon violations. These behaviors are referred to one of the principals immediately and could result in an in-school suspension, out-of-school suspension, or alternative placement. One major difference between PBIS and our approach towards student behavior in the past is that the 80 to 90 percent of students who do what they're supposed to do may now be acknowledged for their actions. Staff members have the opportunity to hand out Norski nods to students who act in a safe, respectful, and responsible manner. Students receiving Norski nods can keep the bottom half to post at school, hang in their lockers, or bring home in recognition of their positive behavior. The top half should be turned into the main office for weekly, quarterly, and semester drawings. Students who turn in Norski nods will be eligible for a drawing every Friday. All Norski nods from weekly drawings are eligible for quarterly drawings and eventually the drawings at the end of each semester. Students who win will be announced over the PA system. Drawing winners will have a choice of acknowledgements to select from. Larger acknowledgements may recognize both students and their advisories. Acknowledgements may change depending on the time of year. PBIS sets clear and consistent expectations for how students behave in school. Students no longer have the excuse that, I didn't know. At the same time, students modeling safe, respectful, and responsible behavior may be acknowledged for doing the right thing. We hope that these behaviors influence others to act in a similar way so that we can create the best possible environment for teachers to teach and students to learn. Let's all have a great year together.
Nathan, please come back here. We don't act that way here. We walk in the hallways. It's safer for everyone. Can you do that in the future? I can do that, sure. Now go help Douglas pick up his books. Sorry about that. It's all right. Thanks. Well, girl, can I please get to my locker? Um, can I please get into my locker? Guys, guys, this is DeForest High School. We need to be considerate of other people trying to get into their lockers. It's a respectful thing to do. You guys can go to the LMC, cafeteria, or your first hour class. You guys choose. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Wrong locker. It's actually over here. That's embarrassing. <laughs>